Hello and welcome back to a new lesson. Today I want to share with you one of my favorite plugins for Unreal Engine to help us keep our projects cleaned and organized. And from its name you can tell what it does, Project Cleaner. This is a nice free plugin that you can find on the Fab Marketplace. I will leave a link to that in the description. So you can add it to your account. Once you do, you can open Epic Games Launcher, go to your library, to the Fab library, search for project cleaner install this to your engine version in my case i have it on both but in your case you might find 5.4 5.5 soon 5.6 install that and restart your engine or just close your engine when you uninstall it then to enable the plugin go to edit plugins and search here for project cleaner you will find this enable it restart your engine and once you do you're going to find this icon here so I already have the plugin open. Let me close it and let's click together on this icon. The first time you click here is going to scan your project and we're going to see this interface. Here on the top, we have tabs, the assets unused, the indirect assets, the corrupted assets and the external files. Let's start here. When we click on assets unused, we have three main buttons scan the project, delete the unused assets, but please do not use this unless you really know and you're 100% certain of what you're doing. So now we're not gonna click it because it's gonna delete everything in red. And clear excluded settings later when you have important files, let's say this file, I want to exclude it from the deletion. You will see that in its own folder color. And of course this will clear the filter. Here we have the statistics summary. We have categories, the number of assets and the size. The category, the one we're looking for is unused assets. We have 2,256 unused assets and they take the size of 4.777 gigabytes. And then we have used assets, primary, editor, and so on. Here we have a couple of commands as well. We have delete empty folders and all empty folders will be marked in red, as you can see here. All excluded folders will be marked in yellow and engine folders will be marked in blue. So we have delete empty folders. If I click here, first it will ask me, are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. It will remove the empty folders. Next to that, we have exclude and include include to be honest i'm not sure if this does anything or do anything but it's here and we have clear selection if you have something selected and you want to clear your selection then it will clear the selection now here is where you are going to navigate your project so all of this here is your content drawer the content browser this here everything under the content here you're gonna also see it here when you click on any of these folders you're going to see the files in that folder that are not being used for example here i have a folder called temp and it has all these static meshes that we can delete there will be also materials textures and so on and the way this works let me show you an example here we have norway maple and let's go to the tab where we have our trees all these trees are not being used here in the norway maple there was a folder called maps and everything was in that map i removed that level everything then that i am not using will be deleted so when you add assets from the marketplace and these assets have maps you want to delete the level the map within the project you have so it can be considered to be deleted so you can test this on your own if you add something from the marketplace it will have the folder map try to delete the map use just a couple of assets and then scan your project and this will scan everything that you want in your project and then you can decide if you want to delete them or keep them something i always do before i use such a plugin is either make a copy of the project or use something like diversion or perforce source control so in my case i use diversion to have a backup of my project just in case i delete something by mistake and i want to restore it because once you clean up your project once you delete the assets it's just like chef delete they're gone so use with caution please hey quick pause if you want to create interactive architectural experiences so clients and stakeholders can explore and interact with your projects but you find blueprint and visual scripting too complex too overwhelming i've designed a step-by-step -step training program that will help you master blueprint and make your projects fully interactive 
With more than 30 hours of in-depth lessons, you will learn how to create modular and reusable blueprint systems and transform your static projects into client-ready experiences. This isn't just about beautiful renders, it's about giving your clients full freedom and control on how they can interact with your designs. If you want to learn more, check out the link in the description. Now, let's go back to our lesson. Let's say here, the Cesium settings, I want to exclude this folder because I don't want to delete my Cesium settings. Let's say here I have a folder called Z to process some assets I'm working on. So I'm going to exclude this as well and we can keep going folder by folder. And as you can see here, you're gonna see a list of your excluded folders. In addition to excluding folders, we can also exclude assets. So if I don't want to delete material instances, you can click on that, right click and you can find exclude by class. So if I click here, this list here will populate now with one element, which is the material instance. And now we don't delete material instances. If I want to change my mind, I can simply clear or simply delete this array element from the list and click on scan again. And this will show us our material instances that we can delete. Now, external assets, let's say I want to delete all of this so I can just keep it as it is. The next one, fab, I want to delete all of this. I can keep it as it is. And if you click on any file, you will see the default engine panels. For example, the size map. We have also reference viewer to show us the this asset static mesh is using this material and this material being used in many more assets so these are out of the scope for today, but if you want to learn more about these panels, let me know in the comments and I will happily go through them. Now, let's say this folder here, get out of here, this folder here, get out of here, and so on. So we just keep them as they are. Let's just keep going. Imagine you're just keeping going. So here I have a folder called Marketplace, Mega Scans. Let's say I want to delete this, all of these, because we have now Fab and Norway Maple. So just as they are. Now, something very important very very important as i said these assets are not being used in maps in levels what else in addition to assets like static meshes and materials is not being used in levels most of the time let's say and that is cinematic assets if you have level sequences be careful because if you're using this plugin and this happened to me before i deleted all my cinematic shots so such a folder here if I don't want to delete it, and you definitely don't want to delete your cinematic shots because usually we don't put them in our levels unless we have a master sequence, then yes, we do that. So exclude that folder. That's very important. So don't do my mistakes. Now let's say here DT, data Math, I can delete it. Under maps here, I have control rig and some combined assets and whatnot that I can also delete. Look at this guy sitting. So yeah. You get the idea. What you want to delete, delete. Just keep it as it is. What you don't want to delete, click on exclude so you can add it to the list. So here, I want to exclude this. So I'm going real quick to select all the assets I want to exclude. I'm going to exclude ultra dynamic sky. I'm going to exclude the template I am building because there are files that I need from here. And I'm going to exclude all these for now. Let's just exclude things. And let's say these are the files that we want to remove. This temp folder, this meshes folder of meshes that I'm not using, this maps folder or the assets inside that folder. So again, if you click, you will see what each folder contains. So once you're happy with your selection, you can click on clean project. Click, this will tell you Hey, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And then it will tell you about to load 213 assets you want to continue. So if you delete many, many, many assets, this will appear every now and then because it will delete the assets in chunks. So click yes and it will do its thing. So it will take some time. So you can get coffee, get water, let it do its thing. While we wait, I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. If you dislike the video, dislike it. It's up to you but what you want to take from this video don't delete your assets by mistake now i will see you once this finished deletion now it will ask us again do you want to load another set of assets and remove them this can keep going so in my case now i'm going to click on no and as you can see it will tell you what it deleted what it did not delete and we can keep going from here in addition to assets unused we have also assets indirect. You may not use this a lot. What's really important is the corrupted assets. So this is very cool. If you click on scan, all these assets, they exist 
in the project as files but they cannot be seen when we are in the engines so when i click on the content browser and i navigate to any of these assets i guarantee you they will not be seen so here is an example let's say this texture so if I click here, it will show me the texture in the Windows browser. If I copy the name of that texture and let's go now to our Unreal Engine project, click on the content folder and search for that texture, we don't see it. So it's corrupted and you can select assets like this, corrupted assets and delete them. So in my case, let's for example, delete these two and yeah, delete, why not? And they're gone. Finally, we have files external. So if you click on scan, you're going to see the external assets in the project and what does this mean for example in the example of ultra dynamic sky there is a text file we can see that file here and in my case i have some splash screens that technically are not being used and many more things depending if you have many more files so that's it for this plugin i hope you found this one useful let me know if you have any questions please use it with caution Please at least make a copy until you are really familiar with the plugin, with how it works, so you don't delete your project and your work by mistake. Don't do that. With that being said, if you like to see more content, more plugins, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you're not already. Like the video, dislike it, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.